Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hard to Find 4, Kai's Rags United States. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, uh, we've landed our troops down in southern England. We're going to be laying them now into Scotland. And I believe uh, around Hull, there are not that many troops. That's my understanding at least. And what it appears like to me. We're going to get these guys here, all of green here. Delete your fallback line in France. We do not need this here. Yes, yeah, like Hull is... Depends on, depends on, are you going to stand at Hull? Or are you just walking through the neighborhood? You're just walking through the neighborhood. I think you just guys go again for the invasion. Let's cut you in half. Take Edinburgh as well. If like we're taking Glasgow, which is nice. Of course, we don't want to lose control of the port. When will you be there? Four days. Like, that is a decent amount of time, unfortunately. Have you fall back to the port. Just hang out here. You capture these three cities to the north. You can, you can be on the clean up the highlands uh, objective. Please stop shooting at my troops. You will be landing now in one more day. I think it's completely acceptable. How many troops has Britain lost? About a million. Mostly against Germany. Second against us. We still have lost more men than I would have liked. You're still fighting all these other wars, huh? Still a lot of conflict that the Entente is dealing with at the moment. Yeah, you will be the only one up here. And you should be able to do something like that to secure our objective. Blue army is landing in Hull. What if you actually take Nottingham? I, I don't think it'll actually happen. But it's definitely possible. Apparently one of our guys did die, unfortunately. So we've gotten another landing point secure. Yeah, because I can't defend everywhere. So now it's time to see Red Army. Is your landing site clear? I think at this point, I think it will be. Okay, reinforcements in blue have arrived. So of course, green, your objective, push your way down to here. Blue, your objectives, push your way towards Liverpool. Okay, Red Army, you look like you are clear to engage. Make us proud. Because, of course, like, they can't defend every location. It's just, like, not possible. We'll take Edinburgh first. Just to do a bang-up job. We shouldn't lose this area. We'll be landing in Cardiff now. And, yeah, three major landing sites. The AI cannot deal with that. Absolutely no way. And then all of... Yeah, all of red deploy here. Move your way up towards the north. Do not be here. Do, delete these two lines. Just because I don't want the AI to... You're already in a port, you madmen. What is wrong with you? So. Let's bust our way through here. 
And a bro is going fine. This battle's a little bit more uh, precarious. It is in the mountains. So unsurprisingly, we will have some problems of breaking through that. Like, how close are we to winning? But 75%. One more invasion. We should be able to capture London with this assault. Move your way up to Bangor. The rest of Red Army should be on their way soon. How long is this going to take you to get there? It's going to take you two days. Not too bad. Uh, are you guys still... Okay, you guys are on a regular battle plan. I think I just have you guys march for now. Half of you guys march down towards the south. Half of you guys go to Leeds. The militiamen are going to make their way down here. Okay. One of you. So this province, this province, this province, and up to Bangor. The land of the free. Beautiful. Um, after that, for the people. Let's, please, let me recover from the Civil War, I beg of you. Guys, go to Newcastle now. Thank you for your support. We did lose... Okay, no, our allies are losing some convoys. Honestly, it's nothing to do with me. But we now finally have positive infantry equipment. We still want more medium tanks. Let's put a handful of factories into you. Of course, all this is getting given to the Canadians. Like, we don't control any of this stuff. Okay, so France has capitulated. I'm guessing their, like, legitimacy was destroyed. So, Germany. It looks like you got about this region. Um, Wallonia. You have this region for yourself, so we'll end our turn there. The rest of it is just going to go to the French Republic. Okay, I feel like that's pretty okay. Also, technically, I, I would say that under these rules, this will be given back to Switzerland. No way to do that, I think, within the regular game. Anyways... We're still looking pretty good uh, right now. What are we missing? Probably just close air support? Yeah, don't care about that. Okay, let's rebuild the Rocky Mountain states. So how close are we to capitulating England right now? We're about halfway. Still need Edinburgh. Liverpool, of course, is a major city. We actually still haven't taken London yet. So unsurprisingly, London is one of those cities that we have an interest in seeing in our hands. In Birmingham, we would like to take as well. So with London fallen, we've gotten them down to 43%. If we can actually unify some of our lines here. We're almost in Manchester. Enabro has not yet fallen. It's, it's getting close, but not quite yet. And air superiority should, yeah, still very much be in our favor. I remember just a land a You know what? We might better just like airdrop our way into uh, Liverpool. As soon as this one troop moves, yeah, no, there we go, beautiful. We've landed in Liverpool, gotten them down to thirty-two percent. Does he want to fight you? Uh, Sheffield, I think, is pretty important. We want to make our way up to Birmingham, of course. 
I mean, Bristol is also, I think, an important city. And Edinburgh is worth, uh, how much? Looks like it's worth about 10. Not bad, not bad. Go straight to Lancaster. You go to Norwich. And yeah, soon this will definitely be completely within American hands. Apparently, again, I've only done 15%. Dominion India, 27. I know it, I know it includes, like, all wars, but, you know, sometimes I think the numbers are a little bit funny. The numbers just... Sometimes, you know... I don't know if you can, uh, necessarily agree with those. But Cambridge is about to fall. We need to take Birmingham soon as well. I mean, Plymouth is worth 10. It's not a, it's a decent city that we want to control. We will probably do something like, uh, pair drop from this city to Plymouth. I bet I can, I can't guarantee you that they have nobody there. Yeah, but I, it's like I would have been surprised that they had any troops in that location. We've got them down to uh, 23%. Lycaster might have been enough. It was enough. Lovely. So. Hawaii, ours. Mexico, ours. Chile, ours. I would say it falls under our jurisdiction. Canada, where are you, my good friend? You can have the Union of Britain. And like that, I was going to say, like that, we're at peace. Technically, no, we're not. Uh, Norway will just be get given to the Swedes, because, like, who else would have them? There you go, Sweden. Have some fun with that. Delete all your old orders. So, what is the plan now? It's a great question. Like, what what is uh our goal for the rest of this series? I mean, what else can we do? Return West Indy land. Sure, whatever territory apparently is Belize. Yeah, you can have that. That's fine. The German threat. We cannot fight Germany on, under any circumstances, and apparently we can't fight Russia. We can't defeat the Japanese because uh, we are not at peace. Who are we at war with? We're at war with a bunch of people for no good reason. Fair enough. We do have to go to frickin' Brazil. Okay, so... The fate of Chile. Liberate Chile under a friendly government. Apparently Argentina just got, got off the hook. Fate of Central America. Each region will be independent and our puppet. So it's going to probably release, yeah, like four little countries. Mexico. Might as well release all of Mexico under a friendly government as well. That seems completely uh, uh, acceptable. So there we go. Nice, solid control for us. But now, 45 divisions. How much manpower do we have? 3 million, huh? 3 freaking million. I mean, we'll, we'll send over. Red Army comes to India. Half of you guys go here. The rest, I guess, are going to just to come to Borneo. So if we want to invade Japan, I guess at some point we are going to have to use these troops. Like, it's going to be a challenge for sure. And I guess you guys right now are just going to come to France. And prepare for an invasion of Brazil. How many troops does Brazil have? 13 to 59. So apparently we have, like, really no information about them at all. Build an intel network in Brazil. Build an intel network in... 
I guess Japan. And all these guys hold position. Like, do you do not need to be in the air right now. We need to get you to Brazil. Can Brazil join the Reichs Pact? I think they might be able to, which does have some bad uh, consequences, I would say. Our Navy, though. How, much, how many boats do you have, Brazil? 23 ships and basically no Air Force. Okay, so that is good news for us. We did lose a lot of our ships in that uh, war. Delete old plans. Come to Africa. You guys delete all that. Whatever your old plans were. And also make your way down to Africa. Because Brazil cannot stop us from just invading, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I would like to just build more military factories, please and thank you. Everyone gets a military factory. We still have like 200 civilian factories. Like We still have a ton of them. Even without trying, we still have a lot. I guess we might as well also be preparing our invasions from here. Of course, into Rio. Like, where else would we be uh, planning on going? Uh, and then the other guys send over, let's say, these four. From the car into here. You know, just get the, the invasions ready to go. Did I get the next level naval tech? No, it's going to be done in about 50 days. About the time until the war with Brazil begins. Well, not the war begins, obviously, but... Uh, let's decipher the Brazilian uh, codes. Are my troops here yet? No. Obviously not. Like, they got there this fast. That would be a miracle. They're all going through Italy right now. The question, of course, is like, is Austria going to be a threat at some point? My reasoning for that is, will the Italian Republic declare war on uh, the Italian Empire? It's entirely possible. Uh, see the Canadian campaign that we had? The United States of Greater Austria is actually pretty substantial. So at some point, you guys got to do Return to Paris. It's going to take seven days. Not a big deal at all. We still have our paratroopers as well. Um, Just hang out here. I don't know what to really do with you yet. You will, of course, at some point be necessary. I just don't know when that will be. Japan, what, what's your ambitions right now? Just some aeroform. Nothing too crazy. But I've noticed you still have not been able to defeat these guys. This, like, uh, Xinjiang, they last forever, to be completely honest. I don't think I've ever seen them once actually capitulate. Yeah, American values. Okay, so you guys are now just going through the Suez Canal. Thank you, Cairo Pact, for helping us out. Is Yemen in the Cairo Pact? They are not. Okay. Because I know Yemen can declare war on Muscat. I mean, our stability is still... We're still actually taking a negative 30% penalty for that. And actually a negative 30 of 10% at war, too. So if we just recover from the Civil War and stop being at war, we'd have to be, we'd be at perfect stability. I think that's pretty good. So I'm not too sure what our plan is with the commune down here. Like, these guys are obvious. We just come over here, we kill them. How many troops does Japan have? A lot. Okay. Is our navy better than the Japanese one? Absolutely not. Okay. So I'm not too sure if our plans actually involve us killing Japan. I'm not too, I'm not too sure if we're actually going to do that. Okay, Portugal did land some troops here. Uh, they immediately lost the port, so good work, idiots. United Kingdom has been restored. OK, 
Okay, you guys have now arrived. Lovely. Um... But the fact that Reporty was able to land so easily signals to me that we shouldn't be having too much problem there. And our troops have almost arrived in all their locations. We're only sending 48 divisions here. I hope that's enough. Do we have superiority in these areas? Yes, okay. We didn't need to send my own boats. They were fine as is. Yeah, unsurprisingly, there's not enough supplies down here. But it was, it's just merely a resting stop. I'm trying to think, like, what do we do? Do we go, like, here, spearhead our way towards, like, the coast and kind of split them off in half? Do we try to kill Nepal? I don't know. To be completely honest with you, Siam is doing a weird ass whatever the hell this is. They just do whatever they want. They don't uh They don't care about the consequences. Okay, so we oh we have 90 political power. We're gonna save that to do some more coring. Yes, sir. Problem with Brazil is that it is a massive rainforest. What makes it difficult to do much of anything. Did you guys secure the port back? No. You have not. Okay, so delete all orders. Let's try to break our way through. Korean army is on their way now to the south. I'm assuming our supplies probably still are not going to be fantastic. I mean, out of 20, you know what? That's not too bad. Let's see if I can meet up with uh, the Portuguese here. Try to offer them some relief. It'd probably be easier once we uh, have our full army down here. Like, how close is this guy to pitch lane? They're about, like, halfway... When our troops get there, they should be good. Like, how many men do you have? H how do you have, like, 50 divisions? Are you out of your mind? I do not understand. I actually cannot comprehend that. Okay, Portugal, did you take a port? No, but I'll kill this guy for you so you can have a port. Because I am a generous god. Send you down towards the south as well. We can do the Pacific Islands. That's just so for Hawaii. Let's rebuild the West. I mean, our manpower is still looking pretty good. We've upgraded our naval invasion capacity. As soon as I get here, you guys have to screw this up, huh? Ready. Yeah, but our armies have now arrived. And of course, your goal is to march away here. Rio is about to fall. We'll send our entire army down here and just kind of secure this general region. All of this is just because Brazil wanted, I'm assuming, these areas there. Probably it's not worth all the bloodshed, to be honest, but, you know, what do I know? They're all kind of garbage, but I need, I need, I need to get this done. To remove the 30 cent stability penalty. Okay, so now that you guys have landed, your job, of course, is basically to do this. Delete all plans. Everybody's here. Uh, so this is looks like it's only two provinces. We'll do something like this. Which works out pretty well. We got a pretty good secure in the south. Okay, so there you go, Portugal. I have saved a handful of your troops. Please be careful next time. I beg of you. Okay, go take uh, Sao Paulo. Because Brazil doesn't have that many major cities. Yeah, that's another major one right there. Okay, 
Yeah, do what you can. Yeah, you guys come down to the south. Probably taking too much uh, attrition here, which is a bit of a shame. But what can you do? How long until my green reinforcements arrive? They'll be there in nine days. Could be a little bit faster, but also could be significantly slower. But I think with our, you know, initial invasions, Atlantic's in Brazil, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching my Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. And now, Joey, call you some down. Want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.